Is your product in need of a better dashboard? Is your dashboard messy? Is it not really been thought through or planned by design? Um, I find that a lot of software dashboards are often kind of an afterthought and it usually shows when you log in. Uh, so in this video, what I'm going to do is talk to you about how to create an awesome dashboard for your SaaS. So the dashboard, let's just get the context here. The, what, what am I talking about when I say the dashboard? Because I know that you know many products have reporting and analytics side of things, and sometimes they consider that to, to be a dashboard of sorts. But I'm talking about the screen that you see when you log in. Uh, it's the first thing users see every time that they log into your software. So it's really important to make a great impression and provide a great user experience here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take you through five really, really important important things that can help make your dashboard awesome and I got this list by speaking with a bunch of great software companies that had gone through the painstaking process of deciding what needs to be on the dashboard and designing it uh, with painstaking uh, consideration <laughs> let's put it that way so um, first of all you need to define user profiles so not all software just has one type of user. Most commonly, you have three, four, five types of users. So take, for instance, uh, Holded, who are a company in Barcelona. They're a, a software that have kind of raised a Series A, so they're fairly early, but they're, they're growing. And they found that they actually had like five or six user profiles because they provide an ERP for SMEs. So their software does kind of everything you need, need it to do for, to run a small business. And they had, um, they defined their software profile as a CEO, uh, CPO, CMO, COO. And so they actually went and designed a dashboard for each different user profile. And it meant that each of these profiles now has a experience designed specifically for them. And it makes their whole job using the software much better. Okay, so the second uh, great tip I can give you to make an awesome dashboard is to provide a contextual experience. And a really good example of this is Personify. They created uh, for their person management software a dashboard that really gives a contextual overview of everything that's happening in the business pertaining to what's important for HR at any given time. So every time an HR manager logs in, they have a different experience looking at the dashboard. They see who's in, who's off on leave, who's sick, what interviews they have on that day, uh, if there's any training running. And you know, even if they log in at different times of the day, that dashboard's going to be telling them different things. So how valuable is a contextual in, uh, dashboard? it basically means that sometimes users will log in just to see what's going on so what a great way to increase utilization right uh, the third great thing that you can do is to provide a goal based navigation so a good example of this is gecko board they actually have a software if you're familiar with it it helps businesses to create their own dashboards and one of the most difficult things for them is that companies don't always know what they need on their company analytics dashboard. Um, so they have to provide a navigation that leads their users through to that outcome of having the dashboard. So their navigation is completely goal-based. It's along steps, uh, choosing, selecting widgets and getting to that final outcome of publishing a dashboard that's going to be valuable to them. So that's a really valuable thing you can do, provide goal-based navigation, help your users achieve their goals. And then the fourth thing is that you can show metrics right there on your dashboard that support the desired outcome for your users. So another great example of this is Force Manager. They have a sales software for managing uh, sale, sales teams. And essentially each uh, sales rep has right on their dashboard their metrics that they're achieving against their KPIs. So, you know, how many meetings, how many calls, uh, how many deals they've done in that week or, or that month. And basically these metrics are always changing and it shows them uh, a constant update of how they're performing against their KPIs. So the software is helping the people that use it achieve the goals that they need to achieve. So that's valuable in of itself. And the fifth thing you can do to create more value on your dashboard is to reinforce ROI. So for people that are paying for your software, 
it can be a clever thing to do to show them the value that your software is providing them with. So a good example of this is AdZoomer, who basically uh, monitors and increases the efficiency uh, and optimizes ads for, you know, paid ads for things like Facebook, Google and, and other platforms. And what AdZoomer does is that after it's analyzed uh, all of the, the ad accounts that the users have set up, it provides them with metrics that show the ROI, how many hours they've saved and how much actual cost they've saved using AdZoomer over an alternative system of managing their ads and ad spend, which as we all know can be quite a chaotic process. So there are five tips that can help you to create an incredibly valuable dashboard for your users that improves their experience over Overall, if you implement these, I think you'll have a killer dashboard and I think it will help you to improve your product so that you'll get more users and grow.